Hey Crochet Crew, welcome back to Not Kisses. I'm beyond thrilled to share today's crochet magic with you. Today we are stepping into the world of chic crochet with a sizzling halter top tutorial. I've added a stylish ring to connect the caps because why settle for ordinary when we can crochet extraordinary? Buckle up for crochet glam, ready to slay, let's hook and roll. For this tutorial you'll need medium weight yarn, scissors, 2.5 mm hook, dani needle and a 2 cm ring. But before we crochet, hit subscribe, your tickets to all things yarn and fabulous. Start by making a slip knot, grab your yarn and wrap it around your finger twice. Then take the first loop and place it over the second loop, then take the second loop and place it over the loop which was the first one originally and pull both ends simultaneously to tighten. Grab your crochet hook, insert it in the slip knot, and give the short tail a gentle tug to snug it up. We're going to make a foundation chain. So you're going to yarn over, that is wrap the yarn around your hook, then pull the yarn through the slip knot, and it's going to create a loop, just like that. Once more, yarn over and pull the yarn through the loop. I'll craft a foundation chain of 17, ensuring it spans from under my boob to my nipple, providing the perfect sizing for your crochet project. Once I have 17 chains, I'm going to block my 17th chain with my finger and then add 3 more chains. These extra chains will serve as the starting double crochet for my project. Yarn over and we are going to insert our crochet hook into the fourth chain from the hook or the chain that we blocked with our fingers. So insert your crochet hook in the chain, pull the yarn through the chain, leaving three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over once more and pull through the first two loops. Yarn over again and pull through the remaining two loops. Yes, we've completed a double crochet. Once more yarn over, insert your crochet hook in the next chain, pull the yarn through the chain, leaving three loops on your crochet hook, yarn over once more and pull through the first two loops, yarn over again and pull through the remaining two loops. Double crochet in each chain until the end of this row. I'll catch up with you right here. I'm at the end of the row and I have one chain remaining. I'm going to create a double crochet in that chain. And then in the same chain, I'm going to add another double crochet. Following, you're going to chain one and then you're going to add two more double crochets in the same chain. In that chain, I have four double crochets separated by a chain one. We are now going to be working on the opposite direction. Prepare for a double crochet in the next stitch. The stitches on this side might be a bit challenging to spot, but they are present. Ensure you carefully count your work to guarantee an equal number of stitches on both sides. Personally, I've counted 19 stitches before the chain 1 space, so I should also have 19 stitches after the chain 1 space. Perform a double crochet in each stitch until you reach the end of the row and will regroup at this juncture. I've reached the end of the row and I'm completing the final double crochet in the last stitch. Be sure not to overlook that stitch. We finished row 1 and this is the current status of our work. To begin the next row, make a chain of 3. Flip your work. Consider this chain of 3 as our first stitch. Prepare for a back loop double crochet in the second stitch. Instead of inserting your hook under both loops of the V-shaped stitch, specifically target the back loop. The back loop is the loop farthest from you. Insert your hook in the back loop, 
Once your hook is in the back loop, pull the yarn through the back loop, then you're going to yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. Go into the next stitch and create a back loop double crochet. Execute one back loop double crochet in each stitch until you reach the chain one space located at the top of the bra cap. I will catch up with you over here. I've reached the chain one space situated at the pinnacle of the bra cap. Make two double crochets within that chain one space. Chain one and then make two additional double crochets within that chain one space. Go into the next stitch and make a back loop double crochet. Make one back loop double crochet in every stitch until the end of this row and I'll catch up with you right here. I've reached the end of the row and I'm completing the final double crochet in the last stitch. Be sure not to overlook that stitch. Row 2 is complete. On each side, there are 21 stitches with a chain 1 space at the top separating them. To begin the next row, chain 3 and flip your work. Consider this chain of 3 as our first stitch. Prepare for a back loop double crochet in the second stitch. Repeat rows 1 and 2 until the crochet piece fits your breast. The top of the cap will serve as the center. Continue with these rows and I'll join you on the second last row to guide you through attaching the ring. I made 3 more rows so in total I have 5 rows. I'm spicing up this bra cup with a 2 cm wide ring. You can choose any reasonable width you prefer. I found mine at the yarn store. It's actually a key ring. This step isn't mandatory but can certainly enhance the design with a touch of flair. You can see it resembles my key ring but feel free to opt for any ring you prefer. To start the upcoming row, follow the same procedure as before, stopping just before the chain one space and I'll catch up with you there. I'm at the chain one space and I'm going to make two double crochets within that chain one space. Take your ring and position it at the upper back of the cup, insert your crochet hook into the ring and pull the yarn through the ring, leaving two loops on your crochet hook, yarn over and pull through the two loops. Again, insert your crochet hook in the ring, pull the yarn through the ring, leaving two loops on your crochet hook, yarn over and pull through the two loops. Once again, insert your hook in the ring, pull the yarn through the ring, leaving two loops on your crochet hook, yarn over and pull through the two loops. It ought to appear in this manner. Following, you're going to make an additional two double crochets within the chain one space. Prepare for a back loop double crochet in the next stitch. Make one back loop double crochet in every stitch until the end of this row and I'll meet you here. I'm at the end of the row, chain one and cut off your yarn. Create a similar cap but pause at the second to last row so I can guide you on attaching it to the first cap. Here is the second cap with the second to last row completed. Now I'll be executing back loop double crochets for the final row heading towards the top of the cap. Let's meet there. I'm at the top and within the chain one space, I'll make two double crochets. Take your first cup and make sure the ridges match. Align the ridges and position it 
behind the second cup. Insert your crochet hook in the ring, pull the yarn through the ring, leaving two loops on your crochet hook, yarn over and pull through the two loops. Repeat two more times. Yarn over and make two additional double crochets within the chain one space. Go into the next stitch and make a back loop double crochet. Make one back loop double crochet in every stitch until the end of this row. I'll meet you here. Having finished the breast area, our next step involves creating the design above the breasts. Flip your work. To begin the next row, you could chain three or you could make a stacked single crochet. Insert your hook in the first stitch, then pull the yarn through the stitch, leaving two loops on your crochet hook, yarn over and pull through both loops. That's a single crochet, right? Rather than moving to the next stitch, we are going to insert our hook into the same stitch as the last stitch worked. However, we won't target the V loops at the top. Instead, we are going to target the loop at the side. Insert your crochet hook in that loop and make a single crochet. Go into the next stitch and make a standard double crochet. Chain one and yarn over. Skip one stitch. Insert your hook in the other stitch. Pull the yarn through the stitch, leaving three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through the first loop only. Yarn over again and pull through the next two loops. Yarn over once more again and pull through the remaining two loops. Triple crochet, chain one. Skip one stitch and go into the next and make a triple crochet. Chain one, skip one stitch and go into the next stitch and make a triple crochet. Continue with this pattern until you reach the center. I'll meet you here. I'm at the center and I have one stitch left. That's okay. I'll skip that stitch and directly move to the corresponding stitch on the opposite side of the bra cup. Chain one, skip one stitch and go into the other stitch and prepare for a triple crochet. Then continue with the pattern until you're left with two stitches. I'll meet you here. I'm at the end of the row. Actually, I have three stitches left. I've already chained one and I'm going to prepare for a double crochet in the second to last stitch and then another one in the last stitch to match what I did at the beginning of the row. To start the upcoming row, you have two options, either chain three, considering it as your first stitch, or opt for a stacked single crochet in the first stitch, as demonstrated in my approach. Following, I'm going to chain one, and then skip the double crochet below, and go into the chain one space, and prepare for a triple crochet awesome chain one skip the next stitch and go into the chain one space and prepare for a triple crochet continue repeating the pattern until you reach the midpoint and we'll reconvene at that point 
Having reached the midpoint, pause at the last chain one space on this side. Now proceed directly to the corresponding stitch on the opposite side and get ready for a triple crochet. Chain one, skip the next stitch and go into the chain one space and make a triple crochet. Repeat that pattern until the end of the row and I'm going to catch up with you here. I'm at the end of the row, I'm going to chain one and prepare for a double crochet at that last stitch. To begin the next row, chain one and flip your work. So I'm going to prepare for a single crochet in the first stitch. Go into the chain one space and prepare for a single crochet. Go into the next stitch on top of the triple crochet and prepare for a single crochet. Continue the pattern until you reach one stitch before the midpoint and we'll reconvene at that point. Arriving at the midpoint, skip the two triple crochets in the center, head over to the corresponding stitch on the opposite side and create a single crochet. Go into the next stitch and make a single crochet. Go into the chain one space and make a single crochet. Repeat until the end of the row. I'll meet you here. I'm at the end of the row and I have one stitch left. I'm going to make my last single crochet. To begin the next row, flip your work and make a stacked single crochet in the first stitch. In the next stitch, I'm going to make a double crochet. Following, I'm going to chain one, skip one stitch and prepare for a double crochet in the next stitch. This time I won't do a triple crochet. I will go into that stitch and make a standard double crochet. Chain one, skip one stitch and go into the next stitch and make a double crochet. Chain one, skip one stitch and go into the next stitch and make a double crochet. Continue repeating the pattern until you reach one stitch before the midpoint and we'll reconvene at that point. Arriving at the midpoint, I have one stitch left before the two stitches in the center. I'm going to skip all that and head over directly to the corresponding stitch on the opposite side and create a double crochet. Following chain one, Skip one stitch and go into the next stitch and create a double crochet. Here is the current visual status of the project so far. Following, you're going to chain one, skip one stitch and go into the next and make a double crochet. Repeat pattern and I'll catch up with you here. I'm at the end of the row preparing for my last double crochet in the last stitch. Flip your work and go into the first stitch and make a stacked single crochet. Following chain one, skip the next stitch of the double crochet below and go into the chain one space and create a double crochet. Chain one, skip the next stitch and go into the chain one space and create a double crochet. Continue repeating the pattern until you reach one stitch before the midpoint and we'll reconvene at that point. Arriving at the midpoint, skip the two double crochets in the center, head over directly to the corresponding stitch on the opposite side and create a double crochet. Chain one, skip the next stitch and go into the chain one space and create a double crochet. You're going to continue repeating the pattern until you reach the end of the row and I'll catch up with you right here. I'm at the end of the row, I'm going to chain one, skip one stitch and prepare for a double crochet in my last stitch. We are nearing completion of the central design. To proceed, I'm going to create a lengthy strap that will extend all the way to the loops that I'll form when I make the bottom of the top. So I'm going to chain 250 and I'll meet you once you're done. I've completed my chains and to make the strap study, I'm going to go into the second chain from the hook. Pull the yarn through the chain and the loop to form a slip stitch. Then I'm going to go into the next stitch and form a slip stitch. So I'll be making one slip stitch in every chain until the first chain that I made. I'll catch up with you right here. 
I'm at the first chain and I'm going to make my last slip stitch. Following, I'm going to flip my work and I'm going to prepare for a single crochet in the first stitch. Going to the next stitch, the chain one space and make a single crochet. Go into the next one and create a single crochet. Make one single crochet in every stitch until you're left with one stitch before the midpoint and I'll meet you here. Arriving at the midpoint, skip the two double crochets in the center, head over directly to the corresponding stitch on the opposite side and create a single crochet. Go into the next stitch and make a single crochet and you're going to repeat this pattern until the end of the row. I'll meet you here. I'm at the end of the row and I'm going to create 250 chains for the strap and I'll meet you once you're done. I'm done with my chains and I'm going to go into the second chain from the hook and make a slip stitch. Then I'm going to go into the next one and make a slip stitch. So I'll be making one slip stitch in every chain until the first chain that I made. I'll meet you here. Here I am. I'm going to slip stitch in the next stitch. Then I'm going to chain one and cut off my yarn. Connect to the initial stitch of the bottom corner using a single crochet. In the next stitch, make a single crochet. You're going to create one single crochet in each of the next 20 stitches, ensuring to leave approximately eight stitches in the middle so that we can form a gap. Following, go into the corresponding stitch on the other side of the bra cup and prepare for a single crochet. Continue with the pattern of one single crochet in every stitch and I'll meet you here. Here I am at the end of the row. I'm going to match what I did at the beginning, which was 10 chains, but instead I'm going to chain 9 because. I'm going to block the ninth stitch and then I'm going to add an additional three chains which will serve as my initial double crochet for this row. Following, yarn over and go into the chain that you blocked with your finger, the fourth chain from the hook and make a double crochet. Make one double crochet in every stitch until we arrive here. At the chains in the middle, I crafted 15 chains and now I'll produce 15 double crochets in those chains.
continue with the pattern of making one double crochet in every stitch and I'll meet you here. I'm at the end of the row and to begin the upcoming row I'm going to flip my work and create a stacked single crochet in the first stitch. Following I'm going to chain one then I'm going to skip one stitch and go into the second one and prepare for a double crochet. Chain one and then skip one stitch and go into the second one and prepare for a double crochet. You're going to continue with this pattern until you arrive at the end of the row and I'm going to catch up with you over here. The end of the row and I'm going to chain one and prepare for a double crochet in my last stitch. If you have one stitch left, that's fine. You can add two double crochets at the border. To begin the next row, flip your work and prepare for a stacked single crochet in the first stitch. Prepare for a double crochet in the chain one space. Make a double crochet on top of the double crochet from the previous row. Continue with this pattern of making one double crochet in every stitch and I'll meet you here. I'm at the end of the row and I'm going to prepare for a double crochet in my last chain one space and then my final double crochet in the last stitch. To begin the next row flip your work and prepare for a stacked single crochet in the first stitch. Chain one and skip one stitch and go into the next and prepare for a double crochet. You're going to continue with this pattern of chaining one, skipping one stitch and going into the next and making a double crochet until the end of this row. And you're going to repeat the previous two rows until you have your desired length. And I'll meet you once you're done. I've completed my rows and it looks quite lovely. Next, we'll craft loops at the back for securing the straps. To begin, go into the double crochet space and make a single crochet. Go into the space again and make another single crochet. Go into the next space and make two single crochets. So you'll be making two single crochets in every double crochet space until the top. Following, flip your work and go into the first stitch and prepare for a stacked single crochet. Chain one, skip the next stitch and go into the second stitch and prepare for a double crochet. Then you're going to repeat that pattern until the end of this row and I'll meet you here. I've completed crafting my loops and we want to make them more firm. So I'm going to chain one, then go into the first stitch and make a single crochet. Then I'll go into the chain one space and make a single crochet. I'll be making one single crochet in every stitch until the end of this row. Once complete, chain one and cut off your yarn. You're going to attach your yarn on the other side of the bottom part of this top and do the exact same thing that you've done. The exact same thing that you've done on the other side. Chain one, 
Finished. Conceal any visible yarn using your darning needle. Like and subscribe to let me know you want more videos like this one and follow me on social media at Not Kisses. <laughs>